May we thirst for God, for the living God. Attending a music event in the summer months can be a major undertaking, requiring a great deal of preparation. The classical event at Glenbourne in East Sussex for classical music fans requires a great deal of preparation, I'm told. It involves dressing in finery, having an elaborate wicker picnic basket, china plates, glasses, metal cutlery, chairs, a table and tablecloth. You can pay for a space in one of the sheltered areas or hope for good weather. Gazebos are not permitted. You are advised to find your space before the concert begins. So such complicated and time-consuming organisation be too much of a botheration to you. The picnic equipment can be hired. You can buy your picnic food on site and arrange for a porter to help with it all. You will need a tent and a sleeping bag. Should you wish to avoid paying festival prices, you bring your own food for the weekend. Most important, of course, is the right festival gear, wellies and waterproofs in case of rain. In our readings, in our gospel readings, have you noticed how preoccupied we can be with the externals of life? Being so preoccupied, we miss out on the things that really do matter. We spend all our lives working to make more money so we can be secure, only to discover that we have the money, but no life or relationship. The crowds in one of our readings were like modern day music event attenders, except that they had made no preparations for the event. They were so carried away by the charismatic teaching of Jesus that they simply wanted to hear more. So they followed Jesus into the desert. When we think of Jesus, consider Jesus after hearing that John the Baptist had been executed by Herod. Jesus had carved out for himself some time to be alone, some time to be still, to grieve, to contemplate. That time, however, was interrupted by the crowds. Jesus does not get annoyed with the people for following him. He has compassion for them. The disciples point out to Jesus the practical considerations of such a large number of people in a deserted place. They have no food, said the disciples. You give them something to eat, Jesus tells them. The disciples have nothing. But using the five loaves and two fish that was available, Jesus makes sure that there is more than enough for everyone. The crowd could continue to hear the message. When we have a desire to encounter God, we discover the thirst-quenching, life-giving, transforming power of God. 